Son, what made you pick Miranda to take you to the mother-son dance anyway? What's wrong with Laura? She cute and all, but she cannot cook. What? That, that's not true? Keep your, keep your voice down. For real, though, Miranda is way better. You should for real get back with her. Hey, hey, hey. Now, I agree about she can't cook, but she's a wonderful woman that I'm going to marry. And you will respect her. Don't ever say anything like that again. If you watch my episode review for House of Pain this week, you know I was not a fan of the show at all. And mainly due to the fact that while it started off strong with Calvin, you know, uh, hyping his son up for the mother-son uh, school dance, getting him the new suit, you know. And honestly, I, I think, and this is something I didn't even consider while doing the review, but the fact that I guess things have gotten a lot better between Junior and his parents that he and his mom were about to go to a school dance. And I mean, let's not forget the reason he's been staying with uh, his dad more often now due to his disciplinary problems in school and throwing the keys at his mom. And now they are going to a dance together. But now, you know, as predicted, oh, something work related showed up or ha uh, excuse me, popped up. And now Tracy's unable to go with her son to the dance. And now it's a point of, OK, so you got two two adult women and I say and I want to put emphasis on adult to reflect maturity or how they should be acting you have two adult women who are willing to take you to the dance who are you going to choose and Calvin leaves it up to his son he even tells the ladies like hey okay it's just an elementary school dance don't make it a big deal doesn't need to be a competition please remain mature adults about this Calvin Jr. is his decision and no hard feelings Whoever doesn't get picked. Okay. Then from there, you know, as Calvin, I believe he said he was going to get some goggles for Christian. That was the whole reason Miranda came in the first place. Um, these two try to size each other up. Like, oh yeah, well you can have ice cream after the dance. Oh, you can have it before. Oh, I won this dance competition when I was younger. And you know, this, that, and the third. And from there, Calvin walks in as, you know, these two are about to go at it. And he... Ask Junior, so who do you pick? Um, I pick Miranda. Okay, there you go. And then um, it was like, oh, okay, well, in that case, uh, you know, Laura and Calvin can have their own romantic evening together. Great. But then as soon as Miranda leaves and Calvin Jr. goes to his room, I try so hard to form a relationship with Junior. And I want that. And it's like, it, it, it sucks because not only did Laura do what Calvin asked him or her and Miranda not to do, and getting their feelings about it, just understand that it's Junior's decision. You got Laura making it all about herself. Why can't I have that kind of relationship with Junior? I've tried so hard. No, it's just this one dance. Junior was excited about it. His mom canceled at the last minute, which sucks, but work is work. And like I said, I didn't think about this until just now. It, it does say a lot that these two were going to a dance together because of the friction between them, you know, at the end of season 12 in the beginning of season 13 and then from there it's like you have junior picking the stepmom or i mean even though miranda is technically his ex-stepmom you can't erase the fact that miranda has been a crucial part of raising that boy since he was like in pull-ups so it's clear He's going to still have a close, well, they will still have a close bond together. So given the fact that eventually, unless she decides to leave Calvin again, eventually Laura and Calvin will get married. Um, I think they'll form a bond at some point, but keep in mind, Calvin Jr. is, I honestly cannot tell you what age he is. I, I could have sworn he was in middle school. Didn't they mention elementary last night? I thought he was in middle school or something already. He, I think the formative years that, you know, Laura could have established a strong bond with Calvin Jr., those, those years are over. This, this boy is either a preteen or a teenager or whatever. So, yeah, he's not going to have that close bond with Laura. I'm not saying he doesn't have any sort of connection, but, you know, it's just funny because leading on to later in the episode when Calvin asked, you know, so why did you pick Miranda? And, oh, well, so why didn't, what's wrong with Laura? Well, she's cute, but she can't cook. And 
he goes on to say, like, you know, Miranda's a lot better. Why don't you get back? To, I think you should get back together with her. And then Calvin just snapped on his son. So I just really hated that because of the fact that, I mean, yeah, and then I'm going to be with her and you're going to respect her and that and this, that, and the third. But the thing is, it's almost like Calvin made it seem like, it's almost like he was trying to make his son feel bad for not picking Laura. Like, oh, you didn't pick Laura because you think Miranda's better and that's disrespectful to her. And by doing so, you're disrespecting me because I'm about to marry her and she's going to be your new stepmom. I just hated that because it completely negates Calvin giving his son the freedom to choose who he wanted for this dance. I just hated that. And then we, moving on into the end of the episode, Miranda just opted to bow out in order to make Laura seem like the better option just to give Laura, I guess you could say, a, 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 you know, a layup so she can establish more of a bond with her future uh, um, son-in-law, I believe. And I just don't like that at all. I mean, like Calvin said, it's an elementary school dance. There'll be more opportunities for these two to establish a better bond. But I just hate the fact that this entire scenario where Calvin Jr. was given free will to choose got, you know, manipulated behind his back in order to appease another female adult who should have been mature enough to go um i wish i could have gotten chosen but it, it's okay it's like i have more time i have more time uh there'll be other opportunities to bond with calvin jr and and that's that so i think that would have been better but more to the point I, the fact that jr wants his dad to get back with miranda says a lot and i mean little christian it just makes you wonder how does he feel about it wait it's how old is that boy? I forgot. I know the last time I remember seeing him was during, um, wasn't it the one episode where he was playing soccer and I think Calvin and Floyd and Curtis were trying to coach him or something like that or Miranda. Yeah, it was, so. it was a soccer episode. I wonder, and I think he's old enough. Yeah, he, he's old enough to talk and whatnot. I wonder how he feels about that. And do you think sometimes that maybe Christian and Calvin Jr., whenever they're having their little uh, little bro playdates and whatnot, do you think about, huh, I wish dad would get back together with Miranda. Yeah, I wish he would get back with mom too. So, And Christian would say mom and, you know, Calvin Jr. would say Miranda. But I think that would be, you know, interesting because, you know, I just hate the fact that everybody's trying to appease Laura where Laura, I feel like she's definitely, you know, she's she's what's the, what she's saying she's trying to fill in shoes that she she can't fit and i mean i truly think that it was um really messed up how things played out in the episode but like i said i think it's hilarious that calvin's oldest son thinks that you and miranda should get back together because <laughs> i think it says a lot but well how do you feel about it like i said i didn't like this episode because they just really messed up the dynamic for me where it's like the kid is giving free reign to do something, but then because he didn't make the choice um, for, I, I guess you could say that the adults like that they decided to move furniture behind his back in order for him to sit in the seat that they wanted him to sit in in the first place. So let's talk about it in the comments below. Um, I, I, like I mentioned in the review, I don't know if I'd say I want Miranda and Calvin to get back together. I just feel like it's a situation where Miranda is a bit better than how she was earlier in the series. Yeah, her just randomly popping into the condo is kind of like, okay, you're kind of still overstepping. At least knock on the door. Showing up unannounced is one thing. Here's another question. What do you think is worse? When someone shows up to your place unannounced or when they show up to your place unannounced and not only that, they just come into your home without so much as knocking. I don't care if the door is unlocked. I don't care. They got a key. But if they come into your home unannounced and without um, making their presence known, which one is worse? I think the latter is. But yeah, I just feel like um, Cal I would say Calvin is somewhat more mature. But based on the last season, I still think there are elements where the writing has him making dumb mistakes that I feel like are completely out of character. The old Calvin, oh, I could see him doing this then the third, but other times it's like when he's come and look, what was that one episode? Say what you will about how you feel about Laura as a character, but Calvin should know better. What was it? If I remember correctly, 
something came up with Miranda for work. She needed Christian to have a sitter. And she asked Calvin. And Calvin was literally about to head out of the door with Laura. I think it was for like dinner and uh, foot rubs or something like that, massage parlor. And he literally canceled at the last second as opposed to like calling, you know, Grandma Ella or something like that as backup. It's like, oh, because it's like, oh, babe, I'm sorry. Um, Something came up. Actually, Miranda, me and Laura are about to go out. It's like, is there, have you called my mom or anything? Like basically there are a few options that Miranda could have went down the list of. And if they were unable to do it, then maybe then call Calvin or reschedule your plans. But yeah, it's just those, d and then like, you know, Laura trying to uh, say like, you don't, you're not considerate of me, but then it's like, well, he has kids, Laura. So it's, it's just weird. I mean, sometimes you, so, there are moments where Laura, I feel is right to feel some kind of way, but then there are other times like this episode where it's like, Okay, you, you just stop the waterworks. This isn't that big of a deal. Sheesh. All right, well, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Calvin's uh, uh, Jr.'s feelings towards Laura. And I just love the fact he loves Miranda. I think that's awesome. So with that being said, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.